so quick. So uh, he's cooked up. He's gonna die. Oh, just he run! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> he just ran you over. And then he's using high explosive rounds. You know what I'm Quick! We're supposed to be the kamikaze force. Hey everyone, Sir Jellybean here. We are back with Court Arms Gates for Osfront, and we are here with the Valor Mod, and we are playing as the Imperial Army of Japan. Yes, the Rising Sun is here. Japan is on the move, and I'm here with the amazing Quicksilver Gaming. How are you doing, sir? Doing great, thank you so much. And would you just like to tell the folks what's going on on your channel so far? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, just starting out with some Osfront Gates of Hell, doing a German conquest campaign. A little hot mod 1968 campaign, and then uh, some Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And I must say, Quicksilver is kind of new to the scene, and he's doing fantastic stuff. We've got some amazing campaigns. He's got a German one going, I believe, and there's a lot of hour-long battles. So if you like us front and you like combat, get over there, subscribe, and get on the channel. Because, as you know, if you join a channel early, that's worth a lot more to your own time, and you'll see some amazing content, and the guy's doing some fantastic work. So if you don't join him, you are a fool. <laughs> Thank you so much. And also, if you don't join him, we're no longer friends. <laughs> 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 but anyway, we'll get into our uh, playthrough. So we'll go through the research. We did unlock the Officer and Coin Stage 2, the Light Infantry and the Medic, and the Type 97 20mm anti-tank gun. So Valor, Valor, shall I say, is quite brutal on the research. So you do have to unlock the most basic things. And deployment-wise, first wave, we have two, three light infantry squads. And as you can see, they only have rifles and one SMG, no light machine guns so far. And they are very basic, 100 HP, 75 stamina. So it is like conscript level men. There's three squads of them. And wave two, we have another light infantry squad, a squad of two medics, and two Type 97 and tank rifles. And you've got to see quite high penetration. Think the Finnish AT rifle, but a lot better and more punchy. So that's going to be great. And the map we're going on is down here, three-star risk. 300 manpower, 500 munitions, fighting the British, my own people, those tea-drinking filth. We'll take them down, won't we, good sir? Absolutely, uh, you know, American War of Independence, except with the it. Japanese. Take that tea back, you jack and apes, I believe is the word, and <laughs> we'll be fighting <laughs> on Wasteland. So I'm ready, good sir, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm feeling great, let's go Banzai! That's it, Bonsai all the way, and we'll see you in combat in a moment, gentlemen. And here we are in combat, so we're just letting the map light up a bit, and we're going to review the objectives. We have Objective D over here in this open wasteland, and we have Objective C over there in another open kind of hellscape. So I am here with Mr... I'm going to call you Quick or... I'm going to call you Silver, sounds a bit more um, like Silver Fox, kind of cool. Well, whatever you want to call me, that's perfectly fine. That is kind of like what a woman normally says to me, but I'll take it. <laughs> So I'm just going to give you two squads, a medic and a AT rifle. So we've literally got the exact same units. And, oh, they've only got reinforcements coming from the south. So that's, that's a nice flanking maneuver. Yeah, that's um, that's pretty cool. But um, I'm guessing we're going to push to the closest point first, I imagine. Yeah, what, number D? Number D, that's it. And I am going to try and push around the north edge, if that's okay. I'm going to try and hit the north, because I'm guessing we can get quite a nice um, two-pronged attack going, if that's okay. Yeah, so I'll take the sort of the center. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to approach from this end. What I'll do is I'll uh, stack my forces up kind of close by, and then when you're ready to push, I'll uh, well, well, we'll slowly prod and see what they have, because if they have an MG, we're probably going to be buggered. <laughs> yeah, so I'll, I'll sort of position over here. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. If you um just use the hills to your advantage, I guess. I don't want to you to lose too many men. Just watch out for those cheeky bricks with their uh, armored cars because obviously they've been loaded up on tea and sugar and they'll be ready for combat. You have to catch them while they're boiling a pot of tea. Oh yeah. Well, that's the thing. Uh, most of their vehicles had something to boil the tea in. <laughs> that's like if you don't know, like the Challenger Two's main features. Yeah. Like, oh, it, can, it also has a kettle in it. <laughs> Absolutely. I've... Ironically, though, like everyone drinks coffee here now. I've seen what happens when you take an Englishman's tea. They call it oh, a, yeah, we... a tea party, a massacre. Well, what happens is, is the War of 1812 after they come back and burn the White House, like, that's for the tea. That's <laughs> for Boston. <laughs> oh, by the way, though, the War of 1812 is just, just crazy when you're eating tea. You're like, what the hell was going on? Like, we'd already had the war, and then it's like, eh, we'll come back and just start a fight with each other. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. I am way, sort of in position. Yeah, I'm just gonna 
So I'm going to just move my squads up. I'm just going to kind of... I might send one guy as a probe. Oh, you've got an early contact there, good sir. Just yeah. The tree line. Where is he? Just there. There he is. He's, He's sneaking. Not too much. Luckily, the British infantry is all... Oh, he's a paratrooper. Crap. Oh, well, actually, maybe not then. Oh. Oh, well... Good shot. Uh, Jesus. Oh, you guys there are getting a little bit laced. All they do is I'm going to flank my guys to the right side, and they're in prone. And they're just, I've got one guy just going up to the objective just to check what they've got. Oh, I lost one. Oh, you lost one. Oh, no. Uh, not, not, not a major problem. Shameful display. Oh, he is. They are. Are they paratroopers? Uh, the oh, one I shot was a paratrooper. This is a high. These are the high. Yeah. So, oh, there is more coming. Um, I'm not even okay, get my guys and my guys are coming to the uh, the kind of northern flank and to start engaging. Oh no! Yeah, the object. My light oh. infantry was torn apart there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We've got um, my guys are engaging now, trying to. They're getting some hits on him. There we go. Come on, lads. Whoa! They're actually quite tough. These British troops. What's going on? I think the Highlanders well, are... In. Yeah, maybe because we've got such low skilled troops they're just struggling to hit. There we go, that's more like it. Good shooting, sir. Yeah, the light infantry's not exactly... Brilliant. But that's okay, we can actually steal some weapons off the ground as well. I'm just going to send my recon guy. You're doing a good job there as an Operation Human Shield. I see how it is. Send the American that's in it. first. Well, technically, yes, but also... It's not my fault. Wait a second, aren't we supposed to go in last? You're normally late, but this time you're in. Oh my god, is your AT rifle just whipping through the troops? Yeah. Jesus. That thing's insane. How much ammo does it carry? Oh, I'm bringing that thing up. Hey, has it got high explosive rounds as well? Uh, I did not know that. Yes. Either that or it just goes through them. <laughs> yeah, it's got high explosive rounds as well. <laughs> That's kind of nuts. Oh, they do have a universal carrier up there as well. So just, um, just be aware. Yep. I've got some smoke left. I'm going to get my AT rifle in a nice little spot behind the smoke, and hopefully we can just completely lace that point, because we can't really afford a front of assault. Oh my god, this guy's coming a little bit close. You got the AT grenade ready? No. Oh, I see. Oh, oh, do it. Suicidal. Set up, set up, set up, quick. Set up. Uh, he's come. Oh, he's going to die. Oh, he's just run. My eyes. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> He just ran you over! And then he's using high explosive rounds, use armor piercing quick! We're supposed to be the kamikaze force. Oh, and I then know. infantry behind it. Oh yeah, I've got smokes, so I can't really see. Oh god, oh no! Oh, AT rifle, good shot. Short range okay. anti-tank rifle. Oh, I think they have done some damage. I'm gonna move my troops back before they start tricking grenades. Holy Christ, we're getting whipped quite badly here. Heal if you can. I'm gonna he's move up just a little. Yeah. Oh, he's jumped out! Is that a auto cannon I hear? Yeah. Oh, guys, no, that was. I think that's from me. Oh no! Get out of the way, the AT gun. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, Japanese infantry are very um, interesting, to say the least. Well, we we do have a armored personnel carrier we can jump in. <laughs> yeah. Steal that and. Uh... Yeah, that's that's getting used straight out of the bat. Before anyone says you Japan, Japan did regularly steal everything they could because they were wise, very wise. Right, I'm going to turn this around. I'm just oh. uh, slowly pushing up through the trees. Copy that. We're going to start suppressing the target. Oh, I do like this first person. Oh, nice. Oh my god, the AT rifle is um, punchy, to say the least. Well, he's just shot my medic, which is stupid. Do you need uh, help with my medic? No, he's still kicking. I'm getting healed. I'm just going to keep suppressing the MG. Oh, you, you already took over their little truck. Yep, straight in it, no messing around. I'm gonna use the AT rifle though, it's very fun. Does it have any PG tips in it? <laughs> it has many PG tips. It's also got Yorkshire tea, the best tea. Ah, oh, okay, yep. PG tips is kind of a lower tier. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell my dad that. Oh, is that what he drinks? Oof. <laughs> well, you know, when you have tell an addiction. Tell him the common man should also drink tea, so it's okay. <laughs> Ooh, some of the guys are beat up a little. I'm gonna put my anti tank rifle and hold five because we run out of ammo otherwise. Yeah, I'm gonna send the universal carrier up to um, engage. Doing very well there, so you see everyone, Silver's got the tactics, I've just got insanity. Oh, no, no, no. 
I do like how they actually suppress when you find machine guns at like cover. They do tend to peel yeah. the deck a bit, don't they? Yeah, I do. I do like that feature. It's not very well explained, but it's, it's cool. Oh, that AT rifle is great. Right, we're gonna get a bit closer and just keep it. Oh, did shoot them on there? Yeah, I, I have my AT rifle in a good spot. Nice. And then I just have a couple guys um, watching the thing. We've got, got some guys flanking left, so they should be able to. Um, yeah, I've got the, the brain carrier's got to get forward because it's not very accurate. There's a cheeky rifleman trying to flank me. Yeah, I've got a couple of guys trying to flank up to the car. If we can get close, we may be able to frag them. Oh, is that a machine gun by there? Oh, that's a mortar. Oh, good shooting. Oh. Good shooting. Yeah, the, the AT rifle well took done. it out. That AT rifle is a bit of a hero in this match. Right, we're going closer. We're going to have the MG just brain gun them soon. We're getting really close. Right, stand up, you sons of guns. There we go. I'm a little bit afraid. Oh, there he is. Shot him. Okay. Right, I'm going to um, trick and grenade over that. It's an AT grenade, but it'll do. Great. to secure my flank a little bit better. Oops, 18 grenade and let's do it. Oh, he stood up now! Bring on! There's one guy left, but he won't last long. Right, this guy's got a frag. Frag it. Let's do it. Oh, careful. There are infantry's float coming from the um, south there. Just be, be careful. Yeah. It's, uh... it's alright. I'm going to bring the brain carrier up to suppress. They have and, Sten uh... guns, so it should be an easy fight. Oh yeah, and we can actually steal that mortar as well, so that's going to save us some coin, which is fantastic. A little spring Val load. Valor is tough. Don't forget that oh. on Valor we can't resupply enemy weapons though. Yeah, with, uh, your, AT, your, your AT rifle um, did shoot really close to my carrier then. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> it was killing a man, but I was like, why is he shooting at us? Does he, has he forgot we've got the Japanese flag on it now? Be friendly. Well, you know. It's um Friendly Fire is part of the uh, part of the best bit. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, I've, I've took a few losses, but nothing too major. We, I think we're in good stead for the second assault. That was um very well done, so you did well through the forest. Just trying to cover this flank. But yeah, I think that flank worked. Those uh, do you want to read through the mortar? Then you can have the mortar under your control. I don't want to steal all the weapons. Uh I'll leave that to you. Uh, okay, um, just look on the floor. I know you fought paratroopers. There may be a pier hanging around. So just um, might be worth checking on the bodies. See if you can steal a pier early on. <laughs> That's a flamethrower. Don't want Ooh. that. Sten gun. Well, no, we don't need flamethrowers through that. Mm, looks like I fought mostly Sten guns. That's fine. Sten guns have their own merit. Right, I'm going to put two guys on that. Um, oh, that's a big three push. inch mortar, which. What's the three inch mortar? Is that about 80 mils? Oh! I'm going to bring some support to it. Brain carrier's coming. And then we'll get these infantry. We're just going to secure the objective and then we'll move up to you, good sir. Yep. Cool. We'll bring that mortar down to you. That is. What's the, how many millimeters is that? It says three inch, which is. Is three inches like five centimeters? Bloody no, no, Brits, <laughs> with your, you go from inches to millimeters to pounds <laughs> to... To stones, kilos, yeah. Three inches is like, think about a 50 mil mortar or... No, it must be more than that. Uh, oh, it might be like a 75, 80 millimeter mortar, so that's like your standard one, that's not too bad. They should have just uh, called their artillery pieces by the stone, make it a stone launcher. Yes. Stones were far better. I do like the um, first person aim in Valor, it's very cool. I'm going to We're going for gun for the win. Yeah, your little carrier's doing doing work. I'm getting a nice shot of my Japanese crew in a brain carrier because people are like, what the hell is going on? Oh, my my uh, AT gun on this. I uh, might not have any shots left now. Yeah, I put mine on hold fire because it's a bit, it's a bit overconfident, isn't it? Oh, I think he, they're down now, yeah? Okay. I'll put my universal my... carrier in front of your injured man. It should shield him a bit. <laughs> yeah. Right, Human shield! The... Human shield, that's it. I'm going to move the... Um... I'm going to use the brain carrier that once he's up, but I'm going to use that to poke the target. But what I'll do is I'll poke from the road, and I'm going to get the mortar set up kind of behind this rubble up here. Okay. And what we'll do is... I know it's probably a bit cheesy, but just let the mortar smash it, because obviously it's quite... A... 
coming up against Paris and Highlanders was a bit mean. Yeah, they must have small defenses already. Yeah, they, I think they always get them, but you know, like normally in Vanilla Conquest, you might versus the odd Gerber or something if fighting the Germans or whatever, but you don't come up against like loads of foes from Jaeger first match. Normally it's like, okay. Try to have some pity on you. Yeah, I think he's up then. Like, yeah, Universal Carry is not the best thing, but I quite like. I think, does it connect tow artillery as well? I think so. That's pretty good. Ooh, oh, run that over. That was a bit GTA. Oh, what is that? Oh, okay, but Universal Carrier. Right, setting up. Need AT rifle support? Oh, Ooh, the f AT rifle. Does, does the AT rifle not have first person? Uh, might not. Maybe not of support because I'm bringing mine up anyway. He's gonna come and help. It's like a the brain carrier's not even person. firing. Get some suppression on him. Quite intense. I like the small combat at the start. I like how like one small vehicle can just break the entire force. <laughs> right. Where's yeah. The Is he not even? He's not even attempting to fire. Mort, start chipping in. Come on. Nope. It's not even firing at the universal carrier. That's weird. I just find it a shame that uh, you can't sort of stick to the low, small-scale stuff. Yeah, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, I think. Right, got, oh, it's kind of in the way. Can we hit it? Yeah, we're, we're in the way. The hill's been a bit of a pain in the ass. Just move up there. The mortar's now chipping in on the infantry, I think. We need to bring it a bit closer. Let's get a couple of guys protecting this mortar, and that should be fine. I like the universal carriers. A little dirty. Just oh, there's something next to it. Yeah, right. Now I've got it. Oh, there it's it still to the hill. There's, there's something closer. right there. I couldn't see what kind of weapon it was. Oh, yeah, that's a. Oh, it's a mortar, Range but they haven't set up, so. Yeah, we'll just talk, target it. I should do it. Oh, good shot, mortar. That mortar's actually really accurate. I like that. Right, I'm going to send the universal carrier forward to distract the other carrier. Right, now now we're in range. Oh no, set up quick, set up. Over here. Ugh, we're still not really in range on set. She's my brain kept on. Oh, the infantry is targeting us. That mortar needs to hit their infantry. I'm going to start sending my men up for a bit of an assault, if that's good. Yep. Bonsai! Cool. Bonsai! For the Emperor! Is that the Space Marine Emperor or the Japanese Emperor? Well, the God Emperor is technically both, so. <laughs> <laughs> which is pretty awesome. Like he wasn't, he was a god in his own sense. So, oh, that the Universal Carrier's coming, come a bit closer. Yep. There we go. Got him. Oh, he's no, no! Oh. Keep running over my. <laughs> god, this this uh, Universal Carrier is quite tough. Reload quick. Some rounds in. What is what is my guy doing? Just chuck the grenade. I think, I think it's down almost. Oh, it's just taking hits completely. I don't know how it's surviving them. Chuck? Who's still alive in it? Oh, the crew's still alive somewhere. It's Whoa, alive. the AT grenade for the uh, Japanese is weird. There we got it. We got it. He's, he's fully down. Nice shooting. I'll put him on fire for a bit. We've it ran over there. my my AT gun. Oh, well, that's just... You did it! Oh, no! Of all things! Well, we'll definitely have to repair that and salvage it, I think. Anyway, let's continue the assault. Good, sir. I think we can get a nice um, nice finish on them here. The mortar seems to be uh, being quite busy. I'm going to move him a bit closer, actually, so he's got better accuracy. Yep. Moving yeah, you're doing... from the bottom. Copy that. If we can cut it over there, send the brain carry a little bit closer as well, just support. Oh, careful, they have got a few, a few lingering men. Not going to try and just hunt him down. God, the brain gun's pretty... pretty hey, oh, there's a Canadian! Close. Canadians? Well, uh, well, I've seen them in South Park with the, with the square wheels, the lethal. Yeah, you just killed them. I don't know what that's about. Oh, no! My own more hit the Universal Carrier! No! <laughs> Japan there is literally going full full for the Emperor there, like, eh, our own men, who cares? Yep. Well, I think we've cleared out most of them, it's just uh, we will have to salvage 
Oh, yeah, you do what to do, isn't it? Fantastic. See, this guy has skills like... Painting levels of skill that I didn't even think was possible there. And we're stealing the other mortar because see whether we use it or not, they're quite valuable, aren't they? Yep. I mean... Ooh, that's probably damaged. I just see two things. I don't... Did you say we can't rearm stuff from other armies? We can do it in the end screen, but we can't do it with ammo crates and ammo traps. Ah, well that... Mm, they could be okay for early things, but for heavier stuff, that does um, bring a bit of an issue, doesn't it? Because, like, 120 mil mortars and stuff do chew through ammo like a beast. Yeah. Even that 3 mil chews through ammo. I think there's a guy behind that building. Yeah, I'm just going with SMG. Oh, I think you got him. Oh. I do like this first person, though. It's pretty, um, like, old Star Wars game third person, like PlayStation 1 stuff. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is that, that is, Mortar uh, cool. Gone Gone? Oh no, you took it. No, okay. no, got both, yeah, and then just waiting on the universal carrier. We've actually got a really good haul out of this. We did lose that AT gun, but, like, we can probably... I think we get quite a bit of manpower from this. I am going to take a nice picture of your Japanese soldiers chilling out in the building. That's quite cool. I do like these skins as well. I like the Japanese um, kind of colour, the camo, like the tan colour. One of your guys here is just, like, absorbed into the building. <laughs> yeah, um... See, well, you know, Japanese on the Eastern Sorry. Front fighting the Sorry. British. I forgot what the to, I forgot what the buttons were to remove cinematic mode. Then I just like panicked. I was like, "Oh no!" What are they again? I... Control Alt Shift and D, which is the most awkward thing to press mid battle. Yeah, and there we go. You can, like, I've got pause as P, but the problem is like a lot of the keys are used as the hot keys, which even though I don't use them, it's like. I don't like messing with hotkeys. <laughs> right. I'm very simple, but yeah, it's a... Oh my god, look at all the destroyed KVs and such. So we're just waiting on the universal carrier and then we are good to go, so I think it's repaired, actually. How's it still going? Just there. Control, I think it's just... Alt, Shift, D. E. That's the yeah. obnoxious little... And now it's so bad. <laughs> Is that a other carrier repair, dude? Oh yep. yeah, there, you're in it. Cool, and that is it. So we will. That'll be goodbye. For, well, it won't goodbye because we'll see you in the rearmament screen in a moment, gentlemen. But uh, I think that was a pretty good combat. What do you think, Silver? I think it went well. That those uh twenty millimeter AT rifles are great. Yeah, we will go through the cavalry screen. Um, sixty nine kills on our side. I got twenty six. Silver got forty three and only five losses. I lost eleven men. So Silver there doubling my kills pretty much and halving the losses. That's a skill set there. That is true skill. I hide, shoot, and don't get shot. Well, that was very good from me. He did fantastic. And the enemy lost, killed 12 of us, and then we lost 69. Some of our losses were to my own mortar. <laughs> right, and here we are at the rearm screen. We got 820 manpower, 1.5 support stars, 750 munitions, and three research points. And we did take some losses, but we will... Um, what we're going to keep? Should we get rid of both of the universal carriers, do you think? Yeah, I mean... Yeah. We'll, we'll probably them. mistake them for English equipment and continue to shoot them. That's it. So we might as well keep the mortars, I think, for the first defense. Would you agree? Yeah. How much is it to resupply them? So to resupply the entire army is 354 manpower and 200 munitions, which will leave us with about 800 man, about 700 manpower and about um, 1,200 munitions, 1,300 munitions. That sounds good to me. So we'll do that. And that is us rearmed and resupplied, and we will see you on the next episode, which will be episode two. And that is a goodbye from me. Until next time. If you enjoyed this content and would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment below.